Hi guys, I am Dr. Priyanka Mehta, obstetrician and gynecologist from Diva Women's Center, Chennai. This video is going to be about white discharge or vaginal discharge. So many women either uh, come themselves for this problem or they bring their daughters because of this problem of white discharge. I'm going to be talking to you about what are the causes of white discharge uh, at different ages, what we can do about it and when do you need to visit your doctor or your gynecologist. So sometimes uh, babies as early as even newborn babies can have some amount of uh, a discharge or a, a kind, of, kind of a fluid or a secretion coming out of their private parts or the vagina. And we usually tell mothers not to worry because this can be part of the hormonal withdrawal process uh, which usually happens once a baby is born because when the baby is inside the mother's uh, womb, the baby also is influenced by the hormones of the mom. And most of the times, uh, discharge in a newborn baby settles down and we advise moms you know not to excessively or vigorously clean that uh, area but when the baby passes urine just to make sure that you have cleaned that time alone. Moms will also bring uh, girls as young as four or five years with some kind of a discharge or they find that there is a stain on their undergarment and they're kind of worried whether the girl has started her menstruation. So usually the periods uh, start only after 10 or 11 years but if it looks like a period which has started before the age of 8 years then you have to meet your doctor. Now talking about vaginal discharge at a very young age, say 4 or 5 year old kid, make sure that sometimes the child could be either um, or not keeping the uh, vagina or the vulva clean like if the baby is taking bath herself then you can probably again just see how she is you know taking a bath and once when they are taking bath you can just apply some non-medicated soap not a very perfumed soap but just a very simple uh, soap and wash once and um, when they pass urine or when they pass motion just ensure that you have taught them the correct technique to uh, clean their uh, private area. That means they have to wash from front to back so that the infection, which can be sometimes the infection from the, uh, you know, the, uh, the, the uh, motion or the stool sometimes can contain some bacteria like E. coli. So that infection also can uh, spread if they are not uh, using the proper technique to wash after they pass their stools. So little older girls, 10-12 um, years, when they start their menstruation also, they may uh, complain of this white discharge which comes out and sometimes they are very scared as to what is happening. So do understand that some amount of vaginal secretions or vaginal discharge is normal because like any other cavity, so you have the nose which is called the nasal cavity, you have the mouth, the buccal cavity. So all of these spaces will have some secretions like we have the saliva to keep it moist. Similarly, the vagina, the lower part of the uterus, there is some amount of uh, secretions which keeps the uh, vagina moist so that it doesn't become very dry. But if the discharge is excessive, so it is, you know, there all the time, it is lining the panties and they're feeling uncomfortable. Again, probably we have to take a look of the hygiene uh, like if they have started their periods, are they changing their sanitary uh, napkin frequently, which means uh, once every four hours at least they should be changing the pad because many times little girls, they are either hesitant or they feel lazy to change their sanitary pad. So uh, if they are not changing it every four to six hours and they are wearing it the whole day, that can prone uh, them to get different kind of uh, infections and which could later on lead on to more serious infections. So just spend a little bit of time again uh, teaching them about uh, <coughs> menstrual hygiene, how they have to change the pad frequently, how they have to dispose the pad. Also you can buy cotton undergarments for them 
uh, try to buy undergarments which are either white or light in color because if you buy very dark undergarments also some of these undergarments have these dyes which can cause some kind of uh, chemical irritation to the skin uh, outside which is the vulva area or the labia majora labia minora as we call it so this can again infection can cause or irritation can cause some amount of discharge and uh, ensure that uh, the you are teaching the young girls to wash their undergarments um, you know every day on their own uh, properly with a very mild uh, soap not a very strong soap and also uh, make sure that all the soap is washed out of it and it is dried in the sun um, on certain equations like women who are older again they complain of this uh, white discharge present all the time and that is uh, you know irritating them sometimes they are scared what is wrong why is this coming out so even for women who are post their 20s or once they are sexually active there can be some uh, infections and uh, like i said sometimes the discharge is pretty normal like uh, just before your period you can have some discharge in between two periods you can have some vaginal discharge and uh, that is when the ovulation is happening or when the egg is coming out also our body uh, releases some amount of secretions or discharge so you don't have to worry about it but if the discharge is causing a lot of irritation if there is sort of itching uh, especially when there is itching and a curdy white you know white discharge then we call that a fungal infection or a candidiasis so you do need to consult your doctor uh, don't try uh, home remedies on your own some people wash uh, the vagina with detol some people try to wash with salt water uh, apply turmeric so all these things actually will aggravate the condition and it will become worse so if there is a fungal infection which is causing itching which is causing uh, a lot of redness then probably you will need some oral treatment some tablets for a longer period of time along with some local application creams appropriately sometimes the discharge is greenish in color so then again there are different kind of mixed infections so once you go to your uh, doctor your gynecologist who will take a look as to what is the type of discharge how severe is the infection they will be able to give you an appropriate treatment so try to avoid these over the counter uh, tablets which sometimes you just take for two days or three days because if you do a uh, inadequate treatment then these infections which are just confined to the vagina can sometimes spread up and that can cause a pelvic infection and we see so many uh, young women also this infection can lead on even to infertility because the uh, slowly the uterus and the uh, fallopian tubes and all get infected and that can be little serious too also uh, women who are post 40 or 45 sometimes another cause of this discharge could be if especially it is foul smelling uh, there is a blood along with the discharge it's a very irregular discharge uh, there is no pattern to it suddenly they have a foul smelling uh, discharge with bleeding happening we have to think of some growth on the lower part of the uterus which is called the cervix so it could be just a cervical polyp it could be a fibroid sometimes it is cancer also so the important thing is that please make sure that if your discharge is causing a lot of irritation if there is itching if it is greenish in color um, if it is blood stained and if it is uh, becoming a new sense you have to uh, visit your gynec and they will do a pelvic exam and try to understand what is the cause and give you the appropriate treatment so thank you so much for watching this video and uh, one more video will be coming up in which i'll be talking about how to maintain vulval hygiene thank you very much